What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Thursday to you guys. As you guys just saw, I went ahead and shaved my face, my head, brushed my teeth to get my day started. It's going to be a pretty full day. I'm going to be spending most of the day off the campground today, so I'm pretty excited about that. I am now starting my first lap around the campground today. I don't know if I'm going to be doing two laps today because I am going to be out and about most of the day, as I just now said, and I probably get a lot of steps in throughout my day. But we'll see where my steps are when I get back from uh, to the campground later on today. So let's get this day going, get this first lap over with. Then I'm going to have some breakfast and shower, change clothes, and then head out of the campground for my day. All right, I'm starting my extension part of my walk. I recently added this section to my morning walk. I don't do this during my second lap around the campground, but this is the route that leads to the community tent section and it's another hill <laughs> as you guys should be seeing right about now and <laughs> the second lap around during the evening i'm like oh boy <laughs> i don't feel like doing that part of it so i make sure i do it the first lap of the morning i'm starting to get up these hills a lot easier now i think it's because i've been <laughs> doing them consistently now and I think my legs are adjusting to going uphill but look at this I'm not finished yet another hill <laughs> if anything come out of this <laughs> I'm gonna have some strong short five foot two legs <laughs> hey, let me hustle it up this hill. The good thing is, coming back, it's going to be a lot easier because I'll be coming downhill. <sighs> All right, made that. <sighs> now, that's not big as big as the first hill. But after you've gone up the first hill and then add on that extension section, it could be much. So it should be all right now. <sighs> all right, guys, I made it to the community tent section. This is where I turn around and head back. Now by adding this extension part of my walk, I go from 207, excuse me, 2,700 steps to close to 4,000. If it's not 4,000, I'll check when I get back to the site. But I'm gonna take a little two minute breather here and then I'm gonna head back. So I'll show you guys what's on my step uh, tracker when I get back to the site. I'm hoping that is at least 4,000 steps, which I believe it will be. And that would be a really, really good start of my day considering what's ahead during my day and where I'm going and the walking and everything that I'll be doing throughout the day. So I should have a pretty decent step day and pretty excited, but I'm gonna head on back now and I'll see you guys back at the site. Here's the 10 man site. <laughs> That's funny. He's guarding the community. This is what the bonfire area looks like during the daytime and throughout the week. This is where all the guys come and convene at night, starting at nine o'clock at night. They have a DJ, a dance hall, inside of there. 
food places right there as well. But, and they have a huge bonfire too. It's really nice. All right guys, I have some oatmeal. I have one pack of apples and cinnamon mixed with some, uh, I think it's maple brown sugar and a dab of butter. Then I have a cup of water. Got some ice cubes in here. Nice, nice. All righty. Looks like my water is ready. Get a little bit more in there. All right. Have to stir this up really well so that the oats can get done, can get cooked. This is such an easier way to fix oatmeal rather than to use a pot because I'm telling you, sometimes cleaning those oatmeal pots out can be a pain in the behind. All right. These packets of oatmeal, they are sweet enough, so I don't need to add sugar. Uh, if I had refrigeration space, I would uh, carry some milk with me, but I don't. So, I don't. But this is delicious the way it is now. See that? Once again, that's the consistency I like with my oatmeal. I don't like it too watery or too, too thick. This is so good. Oh my goodness. Yep, just as I guessed. 4,134. So adding that extension on really, really helped. Really, really helped. with how many steps my morning lap is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bowl of oatmeal. Then I'm gonna shower, change clothes. And then shortly after that, I'm gonna head on out, start my day. By the way, I am heading to uh, by the way, I am heading to uh, Scranton, which is close to an hour away from where I am now. It's not, uh, it's about 35, 35 miles from here. It may be even shorter than that, but I know it's not longer than an hour. So I'm gonna hang out there. I have three stops that I intend on doing in Scranton. And if all goes well, I should have a really good day. And of course, I'm taking you guys along with me. All right, guys, I am in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which was about a 40 minute drive from the campground. I'm heading to the marketplace at Steamtown. And my first stop is going to be at the Electric Aquarium and Reptile House. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be located there in this marketplace at Steamtown. I'm so excited. All right, I just now paid for parking. I got two hours. If I have to, I'll come back out and put some more in because I'm gonna be right in this area right here. So let me show you guys where I'm heading. This is where I'm heading. 
I'm gonna try to get across this street right quick. I'm gonna try to find a, like something that, you know, like at malls. Okay, this is actually supposed to be a mall. Ooh, that coffee at Starbucks smells good. So I need one of those, you know, one of those things that tells you where everything is located at the mall. Oh, here it is right in front of me. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't have to go far at all. This might just be the poster. There it is right here. Oh yeah, there's the entrance right there. But here it is right here. The Electric City Aquarium. All right guys, we are now entering this aquarium. It already looks interesting. Wow, yeah, look at this one. They're getting bigger and bigger as I continue to walk. Exactly. If you don't know what they are, they might hurt you. Wow, look at this one. One thing about snakes, boy, they have some pretty colors to them. Oh, just to sleep. Wow, sir, look at that big one right there. Maybe they have to be here. 
Look at this thing running all around. I don't know if y'all can see it. This is a... I can't, I can't keep up with it. It's moving so quickly. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this one. This is a crocodile, too. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I don't know if y'all can see because it it's black. You can see the tail part right there. But look. Let me move it just a tad. Look at that. Wowzer. Just like stiff. <laughs> Man, look at this beautiful display right here. Oh my goodness. Let me back up some. Oh, look at that. Ah, look at that. It's connected to those tanks over there. Wow, that's really, really nice. And then goes over. They can swim from one side to the other. Wow, really nice. Got over here. I tell you, these fish are so pretty. Look at this little thingy. Look at the color on there. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, look at this one all close. This one right here is so cute. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Turn around, let me see your face. There we go. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. So good. Oh my goodness. Look how big these things are. Hey, there's a turtle. Just moseying on the lawn. Oh my goodness, look at this thing right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this thing right here. What is those long things coming out of his mouth or underneath his mouth? Can y'all see that? Look at that. <laughs> look at <laughs> oh my gravy. Look at this. Look at what this would look like. Oh my gravy. It's so crazy that they're just amongst one another. And there's, oh my goodness, I used to know the name of this little black thing right here, this black and white thing. Oh, what is the name of that? It's so crazy how they are coexisting with one another. What is that thing right there? I know somebody's going to tell me, but I'm going to look it up before. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. You look kind of old. <laughs> Wow, sir, look at this. Wow, 
Oh my goodness, I really enjoyed that. And you guys know that I'm a zoo guy, but I enjoyed that aquarium and the reptiles. It was really fun. They were nice and colorful and beautiful. It was pretty decent. I enjoyed myself. Now I am heading to my next location, which is right in the area that I am in now. I'm crossing this bridge that you see me on and heading to my next destination. I am having such a good time and I'm only at stop number one. I might go to another stop, <laughs> we never know. But I need to pay attention because this bridge that I'm walking, see that? That's where I came from. That's the mall back there. Okay, they told me to walk and follow the bridge. Now where I am heading now is a steam train museum that's here. So I'm going to check out some steam trains and maybe I can climb up on one or two of them, who knows, but we'll see when I get there. Pretty excited. All right, I see the tickets and information uh, booth or building from here. Wowzer, here's a close up of that train that I just now took. Wowzer, look at that. Man, that looks nice. Wow, there. Look at the wheels on there. Oh my goodness. Wow, sir. Oh my goodness, y'all. It was free to get in. I didn't have to pay. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. <laughs> I was like, I'll have one. He was like, well, it's free, so you don't have to worry about that. I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. How about that? He's, it's five buildings here. He said that it's five buildings here. He said two of them are closed and the other three are open. So hopefully I'll find all three of them. I have about an hour and 10 minutes before my uh, <laughs> parking expires. So let's go see some trains. All right, I just now entered. This is the ICRR train. Illinois Central 790. Ah, okay. Wow, was there? This is exactly what it looks like. I don't even know which way to go. Do not enter restrooms. Remember these little things right here? You see them in like the Indiana Jones movies and stuff. <laughs> I wish you can ride one of these because I will ride it right on down the road. <laughs> oh, this building was made, built in 1992. Okay. I gotta find the buildings because I don't know 
what three buildings he was referring to. Here is the New Haven Trap Rock Company. Look at that band over there. Look at him over there. I don't know what buildings he's talking about. Look at these trains. The sun is out, so it's kind of hard to see some of them. This look like the mail truck. Yes, I mean mail truck. <laughs> this look like the mail train right here. Yes, I know those bags right there all too well. I worked in the mailing department for six years. Wowza, yep, this is the mail train. <laughs> Ooh, seeing these bags bringing back memories. Oh my goodness, look at that. That was so neat. Let's head on out. Yeah, here we go. It's the United States Mail Railroad Post Office 1100. <clears throat> I knew that was a mail train. Wowza, let's go up in this one. Tight right here. Look. Look at this old kitchen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, it's tight right here, boy. This was the dining section. The dining room. Let me show you guys. The dining room. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what's in these little rooms right here? Is these are these bedrooms? Oh yep, they are. Look at these little bedrooms. They have a little sink over there. A bed. Uh, I don't know if I can stay over here, but I'll be. Oh, here's the adjacent to a bathroom, the toilet. How about that? There's the door right there that leads to the, the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's an, another look at one of the bedrooms. That's the little sink. I'm assuming that that's a shared bathroom to the bedroom that's on the other side. Oh, look at this one. This one looks different. This look like a bunk bed scenario here. Got a little sink, a little dresser there. Oh my goodness. And then you come out to the living room. <laughs> yeah, come out to the living room. How about that? You are not to sit 
on the furniture. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so interesting. All right, here's the engineer. This guy here is the brakeman and switchman right here in the fire man Then we have the hobo. <laughs> the hobo works and wanders, a tramp dreams and wanders, and a bum drinks and wanders. Migratory workers, if they apply any of the terms of, to themselves, are more likely than not to say they are hobos. Let's see what the hobo look like. And this is the hobo. Who is this guy right here? Wowzer. He is the station master. So we have this guy right here. Then over here. I'll come back to him. This is the conductor right here. That's the conductor. This guy right here is the baggage handler. Then we have the news butcher right here. And who is she? Ah, she is the telegraph operator. How about that? Here's the tycoon. This the, this the rich man right here. <laughs> this is the rich man right here. And then we have some immigrants right here. These figures look so freaking real. And who might this lady in green be? She's just a passenger. But she decked out. <laughs> Look at her, she decked out. Get your tickets right here. And I guess you go through here. Here are some more ticket windows. If you're going to Nickel Plate, you'll buy your ticket from there. All right, guys, I am now heading to the Roundhouse.
Oh my. This is more, more rustic like. Oh boy. You can walk around and see. See everything. As you're walking around, this looks like where they do like maintenance on the trains. Wowzer. This is so interesting to me. Look at that. There's the stairs that you use to go down in that little section there. Wow, there. Look at these trains. Lehigh Valley. <laughs> I know that name. There's the Baldwin locomotive. Look at that. Number 26. Yeah, this is the maintenance shop. Look at the stuff down there. Okay. Let me see if I'm going the correct way to get out of here. Pretty sure I am. This is the second building. Okay. All right, the third building is right across there. I'll see you guys when I get over there. And this is the crew that makes the tracks. Wowzer. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Man, that was so much fun and so interesting. I really, really enjoyed that. Well, I'm telling you, that was something else I've never been into. Now, I've been into, I think, the B&O Railroad Station down in Baltimore years and years and years ago. <clears throat> but it was nothing like this right here. This was really, really interesting. I really enjoyed it. My, my voice is getting hoarse. <coughs> my voice is getting hoarse, and I haven't even been talking like that. But anyway, now, you guys, I'm going heading to stop number three, which is something to eat. I have a place in mind. I have to put it in GPS. But I have a half an hour now to make my way back to my car and get moving to the restaurant that I'm heading to for some lunch. 
see you guys when I get there. All right, guys, I am at Vermont Mall and I'm heading to, ta-da, Latona Talca Authentic Mexican Restaurant. So let's head inside and have some Mexican lunch. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back at the campground. I had such a great day. I had so much fun. I enjoyed the aquarium reptile place. I enjoyed the uh, steam train um, museum and the Mexican food was the perfect end to my day trip. Ah, what a day. Now this is what I like, cause I'm a tourist type of guy. And this is the type of day that I like to have when I go to other cities and and hang out. Um, these are the types of things that I like to do. Uh, it's such a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the day as well as I did. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know this. And I'll see you guys the next time.